So, my name's Reese Amos. I am currently the artistic associate at Birmingham Opera Company, freelance theatre director and music composer. In all honesty, it started from before I can remember, and I know that because it's things that mum told me. So, from a very young age, I responded to music in a way that she said was a bit more than dancing. It was a bit more inquisitive. I'd sit and I'd study, and she'd put me in front of certain speakers when I was three, and I'd, I'd, she said you could tell that I knew the variation between the sounds of the different speakers, and I'd go back and forth, back and forth. So whilst all the other kids are just dancing and, and flapping their bodies around, I was doing really concise and precise movements. And she said from there, she knew that I had a, 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 a talent or a, a nuance then for understanding something that was happening that she couldn't even recognise. So she said, she gave me a couple of years just to develop it, see what it was. And um, that be that grew and became, sort of blossomed into my passion for sound in general. So not even just music, just sound. Why that sound? Where does it come from? Is it internal? Is it external? And that then grew into what, you know, my love for music and making produ production then and even my singing, my voice, understanding my own voice. What does that take? You know, I didn't like my voice to start off with, to be honest with you, you know. I would say that I started singing before I started to produce simply because um, in those days it, there was no equipment. So you have a bang on a couple of pots and pans to make some noise. Um, we couldn't afford keyboard and guitar and all them things back in those days. So I started to learn how to manipulate my voice to recreate sounds. First thing I ever did was try copy a trumpet sound. You understand what I'm trying to say? Just because of the audible, I was like, yo, I like that sound. That sound, my mum was listening to some Miles Davis or something like that. I said, I like that sound, but we can't afford the instruments. So my first practice was learning how to use my voice and manipulate it to recreate certain things. And of course, that naturally grew into kind of singing.